Hello, I'm Elaine Thornton. I am the instructor for the Drifters cohort. In this video, I will briefly discuss the value of creating a timeline for your action plan. Creating a timeline allows you to start thinking about the timing of significant milestones. To begin, start drafting a plan of when things are going to happen. As a reminder, we are still looking at the action plan as a whole and starting to get the pieces in order. We are focused on the big picture. SMART goals serve as the framework for your action plan. The T for time-based, time-oriented, or timely encourages us to create steps in our action plan that can be assigned completion dates. Your action plan goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely or time-bound. Let's review the role of the timeline in the action plan. An excellent timeline will provide a comprehensive overview of strategic actions that demonstrate a thoughtful implementation of SMART goals and moving open initiatives forward on your campus. Strive to meet this goal, have high expectations, but realize that these expectations will be tempered by reality. Create a plan, identify what you need to meet your goals, Identify the actions that you can take. Set some time-bound expectations, but remember to be realistic. In your mind, your action plan might look like this. It is beautiful, perfect, everything is set. You have created a master blueprint that is easy to follow. However, in reality, you may end up with something like this, something simpler, smaller, but still sturdy. It's okay. In the end, you have still made something happen. You've built a foundation. So it's also not a bad idea to have a contingency plan in place. Always have a plan B and sometimes C in mind, especially during the current time of uncertainty. For example, participation from your colleagues, the campus faculty, administrators, and others in key are and others is key to launching or expanding your planned initiative. We all hope that participation and support at our institutions will look like this. But maybe it ends up feeling more like this. You are not alone. That's when this cohort and other supporters and communities of practice can help. Keep these things in mind as you work on your action plans and begin to implement them. The road may seem long. It is a race that may often seem as though there is no finish line, and that's okay. The key is to get started and keep moving forward. Keep running those laps. Just keep moving forward toward your goals. With a timeline in place, you can visualize the road you need to travel, the milestones that need to be met, and it offers you a way to set a specific time frame for accomplishing these stages of your action plan. We've included a list of possible places to get items for your timeline. The folder includes examples of various approaches to the timeline. It also includes everything from Gantt charts and techie tools to basic examples. Choose the tools that work best for you. You might also consider creating two versions of the timeline, one for your administrator and one for you. Your timeline might be more detailed than the one you share with your administrator. The one you send up the ladder might focus on just the major dates and accomplishments or actions. Keep this in mind. Finally, your timeline can extend as long as you like. There are no restrictions or limits.